Who will win? Who will win? In the top right side, we got a new Zerg contestant. He's the blue. Alfax. Ragnarok. Bottom left side, a red Terran player fighting for the Dragon Phoenix Gamers. He is Kia. Already beating his teammate, Rogue, today. And of course, Ragnarok going through. Trap. What a guy. What a guy. That's a very quick motorcycle there. Jesus. I'm not even sure how he went that quick. There is a roundabout somewhere on the road, but apparently that did, did not stop him. <laughs> Did not stop him. Alright, anyway. So, used it as a ramp, apparently. Actually, somebody have a, at some point, somebody tried to use, with his car, our roundabout as a ramp. And then there was just this car in the middle of the roundabout for a couple of days. It's quite funny. Well, it's quite funny. It looked ridiculous. Uh, why did Jinnah disband? I mean, they're an airplane company. Corona not really not really helping them out here, so they had to they had to cut costs. Right, there's just not that many people flying around at this moment in time and um yeah. It's a sad thing. League of Legends had to uh had to go down a little bit earlier on and after a while it looks like they uh, they also let go of the StarCraft 2 players. It seems to me as if they, they wanted to secure somewhat of an opportunity, but perhaps uh, for their players at least to uh, to join another team get them at something Seeing how most of the players just immediately joined another team Some of them didn't we like we don't know anything about the back deals of course Maybe maybe the players decided that they don't want to take the uh, They don't want to take the uh, the offer that was given to them. Maybe maybe they you know something others oh, Whatever whatever, you know, maybe they weren't offered who knows? Who knows? But, uh, yeah. Alright. Hope that clears it up a little bit. Ragnarok get, went for the spawning pool first here. Those Zerglings not ever really gonna find any damage, though, I, I do believe. He's got six of them right now available. Actually, did he go for the spawning pool? I'm not even sure anymore. Let me zoom in for you fine fellas. Alright, I mean, he's getting a nice delay on this command center. He's keeping the Reaper at home as well, so the Reaper's not able to really find out anything. Something, right? It's something. Ragnarok is one of those players that... It's not afraid to, to kind of play the game at the uh, the drum of his own beat. The pace of his own beat. He just, he just does his own stuff, right? It's what that sentence wants to convey. But in a more meaningful essence. Are you okay, Sign? <laughs> I'm not sure what this discussion is about, but... Hmm. Is it a discussion? Is it just... Alright. Looks like it is. Alright. I think so. Okay, good. I think you're just being a nice guy overall. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, so what are we doing here? What are we doing here? There's a cyclone on the field. What the hell is that about, you may ask? And in all honesty, it, it may be for a surprise roach attack, something like that. I mean, he couldn't really get a scout going. Maybe there was an overlord somewhere that he wanted to pick off. It's uh, interesting. Oh, finds the uh, finds the overlord there. We'll be able to come in with this medevac. That's not going to work out. Ragnarok already aware, of course, that that was coming his way. There is still a little outskirts of units here as well, though. The Overlord survives. That's always a good thing. 
with this cyclone. As long as the cyclone doesn't lock onto the uh, the larvae, <laughs> it should be okay. Uh, the rating gained from a single matchup is sufficiently added to the other two that were not played. Really? So by going 32 for a single period in ZVT, on the legal lack, your ZVZ and ZVP improves as well. Oh, interesting. I did not know this. I did not know this. Spire is about to be ready. I mean, we uh, Sushi called it. Sushi called it before the game even started. He saw the map and he was like, yep, that's going to be Mutalisk. It's what Ragnarok used against Trap as well to much uh, great effect. It's a nice map for Mutalisk, after all. Let's see how Raggy does against the Banshee, though. <clears throat> Finding some damage with uh, with the Hellbats on the left side, it looks like. Ten workers already going to get cleaned up. Single Cyclone here. Also going to catch a Mutalisk, I do believe. Yes, he will. And, oh my dear. Oh my. Oh, he gets the base. He gets the base as well. Third base goes down. Ragnarok going to lose even more drones right now. Trying to split. Oh no. Oh no. Everything's going so horrendously awful. Um. Okay. Yeah, so that was, that was something else. I guess there's no army now for Cure, but... Really, all we have for Ragnarok are those Mutalisk and Missile Turrets are absolutely everywhere. We got a solid uh, solid SCV cans. Yeah, the Mutalisk not going to get any counter damage dealt here. He only has, what, seven of them? That's not enough. Alright. Just not going to be able to push out anytime soon. So this is giving an opportunity for Ragnarok perhaps to reclaim some of his former glory. Get back those uh, those drones, get that base back as well, but still it's not it's not a nice situation, of course. Income advantage is gonna get into Cure's favor here. <laughs> so Cure beat Rogue? Oh you never <laughs> yeah. Isaac. Isaac. That's a good one. <laughs> Alright. Careful with those Mutalisk. Fourth base for Ragnarok also on the way. Surprised to see supply depots go up here. Huh. Mutalisk finding another way around perhaps. Seems that the Marines are just in a good position to hold that off, though. Alright, Cure finding some opportunities there. With the creep again, right? As he's been doing, cleaning up the creep. He really is the janitor of StarCraft 2. The ZVT janitor. Z... ZVT janitor? Oh, I'm trying to mix ZVT and janitor here. The... Jadzvit... <laughs> no, it doesn't look... Doesn't work. You know, sometimes you shoot, sometimes you miss. That's just how it goes with these types of things. Normally, people would, like, keep it for themselves until they're like, alright, this is what I want to say, but not me. Not me. No. I'm like a jazz, mus jazz musician kind of uh, caster. Mm, oh, matter of fact, got spotted here by these uh, Zerklings. Should be uh, ready for the defense. That is uh, filled up to the brim with widow mines, of course, as uh, as per Cure's usual standards. A couple of queens here. Are they still going to be able to get some damage? I mean, they do damage quickly. They don't have the tunnel or uh, the drilling claws, though. But they are pulling away the entirety of the Zerg army, which means that the Terran 
forces once again finding a bit of success here. Careful. Couple of zerglings here still led astray by the mutilist. That's a ton of banglings here. Has me a bit worried with the uh, the Thor production kicking it off right now as well. Can get a bit dicey if you don't have enough Zerglings anymore and you're just banking up too many of those Banelings. Can cause you to trade super inefficiently and then becomes more difficult to, to re-max because you've already used up so much of your, your bank. Getting yourself more Banelings. It does seem though, whenever you're you're playing, right? And from a playing perspective, you're like, all right, well, I could I could have, I could have 60 zerglings, and 60 banings. I could have 120 banings. Isn't that just always going to be better? Not really. Not really. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, zergs are not just allowed to spam out banings. Although they, it won't stop them from doing so anyway. <laughs> Sometimes it does work. So. Oh, we just have an entire discussion going on about uh, <laughs> Legal Egg now, huh? It's a cool website, but you got to take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, it seems that way. Oh. Drilling Claws is available now, of course. Kyr going to find himself in the left side. Oh, that Bailing's here. Not going to get anything done. And the attack from Cure moves backwards as that attack was kicking in there as well. Does not want to be busy on this side of the map as Banelings are potentially threatening his uh, third base here. Zerglings now actually coming in and they are looking pretty darn good. The Mutalisk as well. Base trade is trying to be initiated here but no base trade will be found. Cure trying to move backwards. Uh, no SCVs yet have gone down. Nice hold position there. <laughs> Not sure if they were supposed to hold the uh, the zerglings at bay, but that was uh, that was a nice little run by there by Ragnarok. Surprised he only got two workers, but he of course also got a, a Thor. He got some of the other units overall, and he got most importantly probably he got Cure out of this position here. All right. Let's see how it goes when we have another engagement here on the creep as more uh, Banelings are moving in here on the bottom side as well. That's a couple of dead SCVs. Once again, Cure having to reevaluate his move. Has to move backwards. There's no way you can do both these things at once. Banelings will ruin your day. And now coming in once again, this army is remaxed almost. The wonderful Ragnarok is the Banelings not exploding onto the Thors. That's some nice connections overall onto the Marines. Moves backwards before walking too far into the Widowmines. Actually, being able to set off all of the Widowmines as well. Except for one over here that's a little bit further backwards. Very well done there by Ragnarok. He's going to just set up back a little bit further. And Ultralisk are coming out pretty soon. Oh, those Widowmines. Those Widowmines. They are looking rather tasty though in that position, but <laughs> unfortunately the Banelings sniffing them out. We'll be able to get rid of them. Okay, it does look like uh, Ragnarok is uh, willing to give up that base here in favor for getting himself that bigger army. He is also, of course, still on the other side, busy with those Mutilists, trying to find some form of damage here. Right. All right, finding some good success here. Oh my god, those bailing hits. 
I mean, at this point, <laughs> yeah, okay, don't, oh my, that's so good, that is so good. So many Zerks would have just been like, yeah, alright, I'll, I'll attack with the Banes now. That's fine, but not Reggie, not Reggie, look at that, Ultralist now coming in as well, takes out a Planetary, tit for tat, you kill my base, I kill yours. But he also does uh, quite the heavy dent onto the army overall here for Kyo. And Kyo was already a bit behind, of course. He already lost quite a couple of SCVs earlier on. Right now only on 47 workers. Look at the supplies overall. Ragnarok building up like an absolute steam engine here. Gaining more and more momentum as the traction for Kyo is slipping away. The game is slowly... Sliding out of his grasp here. It feels like he needs to perhaps get himself another base. Somehow, some way, continue mining efficiently here. Get a couple of SCVs extra out. Or another thing he could try to do is just play super defensively. Try to get himself onto 150 army supply right now. You know, so get maxed out, but then only with 50 workers. Um. But yeah, that would mean he would need to trade incredibly efficiently here, and I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Planetary Fortress goes down. The Ultralisk already on top of the units. Losing units here is just a no-win situation for Cure. If he loses units, he's going to lose this game. 90 supply right now. 26 workers in total. These two Ultralisk, it, they don't even matter anymore. Wait a moment, the... Oh, did you see that? Look at that. The, the, I don't know if that's steam packages or whatever they have on their back. They, they, they turn purple when the Ultralisk dies. That is interesting. All right, so, I mean, in comes the attack here. Trying to get on top of these Mutalisk. Get something, right? you got to find something here. Still 80 supply strong in the army. Is it going to be enough? Oh, the Banelings and the Zerglings already on top of things. Ah, there's no winning here. There's no winning here whatsoever. Cure taps out. Ragnarok takes game number one. Is this the tournament? Is this the Ragnarok tournament we've all been waiting for? I don't know. Where could it be? Could it be? Rogue is super inconsistent. Ah, <laughs> oh, he really is, isn't he? He really is. Pa Packlet and StarCraft 2 Platinum. Thank you as well for those follows. Much appreciated. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Hope you're having a good time. Also, I'm pretty certain somebody typed exclamation mark caster in the chat there. And nobody told him. <laughs> really, guys? Really? He did it twice. He did it twice. Alright, let me tell him then. Okay. Last dude alive. I'm Kozen. Hello. Um, it's at really Kozen, actually. Ah, that's my Twitter. There we go. All right. <laughs> Sugar. Sugar also doing it. Sugar, you know me. You know me, Sugar. Come on. Come on, Sugar. You, yes, you do know me. For, for crying out loud. We've chatted together. We've had conversations. <laughs> Uh, we're betting addicted now. No time for serious conversations. The chat, everyone's just completely focused on the game. Do we get another bat actually going for game number two? Did we get another bat going here? I'm not sure who's doing it now, even. In the top left side, a blue Zerg. The Alpha Exa. Once again, claiming the first victory here. Is it a sign of what's to come? He is Ragnarok. Ragnarok pretty much, like, his style kind of feels like it's DRG playing in a while, isn't it? Hashtag who is Kozen is going to be trending. Oh my. <laughs> well, you know, it's free publicity. That's fair enough. Uh, bottom right side, a red Terran player fighting for the Dragon Phoenix Gamers. He is Cure. You have not been paid. All right, all right. That's fair. That's a fair thing. I uh, don't think we've... Oh, that is what you mean. I see. 
We didn't get our points. Rigged batting. Really? Ah, all right, all right. Let me let me get you guys. Um, how do I do this? Manage rewards. Do I manage the rewards? Did Sushi just fall asleep? How do I do this? Hold up, guys. I need to figure this out. Is this where I do it? I don't think it is. Help. Help. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Oh, there we go. All right. It's being paid out now. Thank you. Thank you. So. What are we up to? What are we up to? Second basis for both these players? I can dig it. I like it. Let's get it going. There we go. Predictions started now again, guys. Get your bets in. What's going to happen? I know that there's six links on the way and there's already a Reaper here, but... Guess it's right now because... Oh, this, I mean, it's not really a clear cut anyway right now, right? So much can still happen. Losing the Zirkling. Uh, no, not yet. Ooh, still not losing a Zirkling. Ho, ho, ho. I know who I'd bet on. Although that is a very quick third as well here for uh, for Cure. Still no third for Ragnarok being established. <laughs> What's up, Alvax? What's up, uh, Blembert's Mall? Mail? Blembert's Mail. Thank you. What's up, my man? Start to read the blue on the black. Oh, some countries don't allow gambling channel points? Really? Oh, that is very interesting. I suppose it does, maybe. Well, in a way. Oh, if you have children gambling the channel points, I don't know. I can see why they would make a case against it. You could make it age-restricted as well, right? I mean, you have your age already available on the Twitch page, so on the on your Twitch account. This is Kosen from the Netherlands. I mean, do you want me to be? Or it's a law in our country. Ah, I see. Oh, uh, well, that's embarrassing. Well, that that's like, uh, what, what happened here? What's this? What are these creatures? I don't know. What's the last moments of his life? Just in utter confusion, <laughs> looking around. Trying to decide whether or not they were, or were not trying to kill him. Uh, so, a couple of Heinz now ready to take over the uh, the scouting overall here. We have that quick spire on the way, so that is why his third base for Ragnarok is so heavily delayed. He's aiming to be getting those Mutilus scouts uh, nice and early here, once more. It's a... It's a Cool thing to see overall, right? You don't see it all that often on this map. Um, Zerg's not going for the... For the Roach attack, right? Hellions as well, like, not really finding a lot of, uh, a lot of creep tumors here so far. There we go, now gets one. And three, yeah, there we go, three in total, that makes. But the Queen's already here, ready to respread that creep. Oh, this could be a good one. There we are. All right. Yeah, he's back in town, guys. Cure is back in business. Look at that. There's nothing to stop this creep uh, janitor. And the drones as well, of course. Nice pull away. Got to be careful, though, with the pull away. You stacked him up. Could have been a lot worse. <laughs> Imagine that. Just oh, losing like 12 workers just like that in a single shot. Oh, that would be painful. 12 Mutalisk were on the way, if I'm not mistaken. No, actually, it's just 9. All right. My bad. 9 Mutalisk. Still, though, it's a, it's a fair amount. Maybe able to get some damage dealt. 
Cure should realize, though, that this is, of course, the Mutalisk play because of that delayed third base. There's not really any other reason unless if you're going for the Roaches, and the Roaches should have already hit. So, you know, with uh, reasonable deductive skills, you should be able to figure out what is going on here. Oh, look at the individual micro on those Mutalisk as well, kind of moving them around as the units are still here in the middle of the map. That is very cool to see. You don't see that enough, right? A lot of players would just be like, eh, whatever. Not Ragnarok, though. Ragnarok here coming in. The Banelings don't have that Baneling speed just quite yet, so this is a difficult fight for them to take. Is it going to be enough? The Zerglings do get behind the Marines. Oh my god, that's a slaughter. Everything here had absolutely gutted. Gone, wiped off the board, and Ragnarok here, does he have an opportunity? Will he be able to get that damage dealt now with those Mutalisk? Let's see, Cure already has a reasonable packed uh, pack of Marines. They are doing an okay job. The Mutalisk on the third base location here. Aiming to get the kills on the SCVs, but not a lot of them are being obtained. Alright, so another thing that is quite important here. Cure will maintain a two upgrade advantage throughout most of this game here. It would appear. At least, right? Because the 2-2 already on the way here. And uh, Ragnarok, with going for the Mutalisk style, you delay the upgrades for the Zerklings by an immense amount. It's an Incredibly large delay overall. There we go. Oh, oh Ragnarok. He's so quick with the vision as well. Let's see. Does get both those. What am I? No, actually, one of them does survive. Nice retargets. Only two workers, though, overall. That's uh, unfortunate, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Although it does kind of feel like nothing, right? Ragnarok only on 64 workers here, by the way, guys. 64 workers. That does seem a rather slow worker creep here for uh, for Ragnarok. I mean, normally you want to stay on top of the worker count, stay on top of the economy uh, with uh, the Ling Bane Mutalisk. And if you go for the earlier Mutalisk, that's when you want to try to do damage with the Mutalisk, right? To ensure that way you have the, uh, the advantage here. Not really the case, though. Cure, still stable on that three base. The, the Mutalisk may make it difficult a little bit when there's four bases available. That's when there's enough Mutalisk as well to really start kicking it up a notch, start taking out missile turrets and such. They do have the plus one attack as well, of course. Small cluster of units here. Uh, okay, fair enough. Always weird. There we go. The plus two, plus two. Now available for Cure. Is he going to start up the plus three, plus three? Yes, he is. That's a massive thing right there. Drilling class also on the way. It's going to be difficult. Is he going to intercept? Ah, goes for the crew team. Is... That would be thoroughly impressive, of course. Uh, quite a couple of Zerglings do bite the Widowmine bullet there, but... Ragnarok still holds his own. Maybe some Banelings here. I, thought, I saw 10 Banelings in production, but apparently they are over here instead of uh, on the aggressive side of things. Mutalisk still keeping gear busy on this side of the map, though, but there really is not much that they can do, as it seems. Already pre-split as well. Still... Okay, there we go. There's the Banelings. Oh. <laughs> brave, brave couple of mutes there. Starting to get their plus two air weapons also. And there are the Thors. <clears throat> More Thors on the way. This is a good opportunity, though, for Ragnarok, right? To, to take more bases, keep that creep spread going. He just needs to keep tabs on his opponents. And when and where he's moving out. 
Although, you know what? The Greep, in a way, is going to be able to tell him that. Coming in here rather early on. Does get the initial Widow Mine. I mean, a single Widow Mine shot. How many times have we seen a single Widow Mine shot? Oh, my dear Lord. The counterattack comes in with a blaze of glory. Kind of falling short, though, in the later part of that attack. But did once again full secure backwards. Ragnarok, yeah, he is really reminding me of the way that uh, DOG uses to play this. Finding Widow Mines, there's another one over here. Does lose a Muta to it, but so far, you know what? He's done so well with the other ones that I think that is very excusable. Finding some more. Finding the sensor tower there as well, of course. Also rather humongous. Big swell of units on both sides of the map right now. As Ragnarok is starting to assemble his forces. Another bailing attack here on this third base location. And again, look at that. Cure moving backwards. Moving immediately forwards again, though. Realizing, you know what, that is not that much. I don't have to worry about it too, too much. This base here can still be cancelled. It's going to have to be, of course. Uh, top side has been cleaned up. And that is allowing Ragnarok to move back down again. With his forces ready to get rid of this. Oh, that's some nice shots there from the Thor, of course. You have to magic box whenever you can against those uh, against those Thors. Oh, that's oh, that's some <laughs> oh my dear lord, those bailings! Wonderful connections there. Oh, is the same gonna happen here? No, so far. Well, they're getting closer. Reasonable. That was very reasonable. I think the Mutalisks are capable of dishing out uh, enough dose of Mutalisk. I don't even know what they're called. Shurikens? Mutalisk Shurikens? Hmm. He's holding on for a little bit. He wants to get those other two bases up, though. I mean, the income advantage still in Ragnarok's favor, but for how long will he be able to do that if there's no extra bases for him that uh, he can take? Just multi pronged aggression here. Doing a pretty good job. But he's only on 55 workers as well, of course. How many orbitals do we have? We only have three orbitals also, so... It's not a lot. It's not a lot. A good hit on the economy of Cure here. Could just turn the tide very rapidly. What? What was that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, could we go back in time? I'm sorry, guys. Was that was that the biggest Widow Mine connection we've seen? <laughs> oh my god. That was a lot of green. <laughs> oh. Alright. In come the banelings once again. Careful of those Widow Mines. Uh, probably wants to get the SEVs here, but... We're getting the Planetary. It's a start, at least. Not sure how many times he can do this, though. Let's see what happens on the left side. Bottom left again. Cure. Look at that. Moving in with another army on the top side as well. Looking at the minimap. Not to release. They do get on top of this base. They do get on top of the army also. They are doing an alright job. Mutilisk now. Ready to intercept the SEVs as this base right here on the top side. Looks like that is going to go down as well. A lot of drones on the fire squad right now. Ultralisk moving backwards trying to get rid of this uh, stampeding army of Terran. But you know what? Ragnarok, he did force Cure back onto three bases. Those very well could have been the, the decisive economic punishment, sir. Uh, that can turn this game into Ragnarok's favor right now. Upgrade-wise, it's not anymore in 
Cure's favor. Cure. Did he just bleed too many of those SCVs? 51 SCVs dead. 23 drones only. Yeah, this is this is very close in the uh, in the overall units loss tab. Especially considering we have somebody going for Ling Bane Mutalisk. And this being the income grab. So, very impressive stuff. Let's see how this is going to go. More stuff rolling down. Ah, it's one hell of a wood chipper. Ah, Terran army is not having a good time facing here. More Banelinks is coming in. That is more Banelinks than you can handle. Cure may go down another game. Ragnarok gets himself a second victory. Two wins in a row. What? What? <laughs> oh, 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 oh my. Oh my. Ragnarok. Will he be able to get another victory here? Is he gonna 4 0 Cure? After Cure managed to take a best of five against Rogue? That would be crazy. That would be absolutely nuts. I'm gonna start calling Ragnarok just the best Zerg from Korea if that is going to be the case. Zerg taking three more bases while trading even with the Terran. That is a disaster in the making for Cure. Yeah, for sure. I mean. A couple of times there, we, we did have um, moments where Cure did get himself across the map. Did get those bases killed off as well, but Ragnarok just too quick with rebuilding, remaking, and putting the pressure back on the other side of the map again. Third time's the sh charm. All right. Ragnarok 3-0. Will it happen? But I put him on the match point already here. Cure definitely seems to be struggling. <laughs> he definitely seems to be struggling. Several playing on Ragnarok's account. Oh, who knows? Who knows? It does seem that way right now, doesn't it? Oof. Although, several did lose to Cure in a best of five. Uh, three to O. Oh. So, you know what? We're, we're on a different trajectory here. In the bottom left side, we got ourselves a blue Zerg player fighting for the Alpha X. He is... Ragnarok. Top right side, Red Terran. The Dragon, the Phoenix, the Gamer. He is... Cure. Ah... Maybe it's Rainer instead. Rainer also lost to Cure. <laughs> Are you doing a bit of a joke here? He lost to Cure twice in the best of... I think it was best of threes though. But, I mean, Cure did get both of them. To be fair, Cure did have a new kind of style that he was displaying in that tournament, right? The King of Battle... He was actually doing quite a bit different stuff. Suddenly, we had all these Widowmine drops everywhere. Endless amounts of Widowmine drops. Zergs have been getting more and more comfortable against that style. And it seems like that, in turn, as well, made this, again, a more difficult matchup for Cure. Especially for some reason, the, the Korean Zergs seem to struggle less against the Widow Mine harassment. Could be that, you know, it's been utilized more. There are more great Terran players, of course, in Korea than there are anywhere else. Not saying that they have the best, of course, because Europe does have Clem. But, you know, Clem... Not a player that is known for for doing mass amounts of Widowmine drops, right? Maybe something that uh, is, has just been more experienced by the Korean Zergs. A bit of a shooting gallery there. Ragnarok going for the four links here instead of the, uh, the regular six that we've seen so far from him. 
perhaps feeling more comfortable than usual with the uh, with the defense. How things have been going. Again, not losing a Ling here. Out of all the players, you did not expect Ragnar to be in the finals 2-0. Yeah, I mean, honestly, who did? Who did, dude? It was nuts. I cannot believe that he's here. Two points up as well. This has been one hell of a tournament run here for Ragnarok. This could be this could be the start of just an entire new age. A new age of Ragnarok. Yeah, he definitely is playing very, very well. I mean, just to, just to emphasize again, right? He went, um, he beat Innovation in this tournament. He beat Solar in the tournament. He beat, let me take a look, uh, Dark, and he beat Bunny, and then he beat Trap. I mean, it's it's not even like he it somehow evaded all the great players. And Bunny as well, Bunny beat um, Armani, and he beat Zest. So, I mean, Bunny was the first in this group. He was playing ridiculous as well. So yeah, Ragnarok definitely a player we'll have to we'll have to keep our eye on. Is he gonna be, you know, able to keep this going or something else is gonna happen? He is going for a roach attack here, it seems. Eight roaches so far on the way. It's definitely interesting, right? In a best of seven like this, opening up with the quick mutes of the two base consistently. And then all of a sudden, making it look like the, the same thing is occurring, and then going for the Roach Circling Seer. This could catch Cure of Gods with an immense amount of surprise. Ooh, what is this, though? What is this? Okay, the Viking does scout out those uh, those Roaches. The Roach is not having enough time to really rotate around that. A lot of bunkers are going to go up now because of this, though. This could be the saving grace here for Cure, but there's not <laughs> that much he can put into the bunkers. All right, here we are. Here we are. More ravages being made. Are we ready for this? All right, here we go. The bile's not quite okay. There we go. Do manage to get rid of the liberator. Zerglings running around, getting on the back foot of those hellions. The bile's getting rid of the first bunker. Is he going to get past the bunkers here? There's a lot of SUVs already going down. Seventeen of them in total, in fact. And now he's just going to set up shop somewhere else entirely. Not even gonna bother with those uh, bunkers here. He does not mind at all. Gets on top of the siege tank on the back side of things. GG is called three games in a row. Can anything stop him at this point in time? Wow. Wow, that was very cool to see. That was... Oh my god. Straight up, after going two base Mutalisk... Twice in a row. Twice in a row. He opens up in, in the same way, in a similar way. Makes Cure think that it is just the same old, same old. Suddenly, just like a oh, whole lot of roaches. A whole lot of zerglings. There's a nice amount of ravages as well. Ready to kick down the front door. Nothing there to stop him. Nothing. Zip. Zippity nada. Oh, wow. That was quite something. That was quite something. I'm getting real excited now. Ragnarok not just playing a straight-up nice game of Ling Bane Mutalisk, but also being able to play the best of seven here. Sushi. Wait, who won? <laughs> Ragnarok won. We're going into the next map. The next map, Romanticide. Romanticide will be uh, will be the next one here. Cure was trash. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, what are you supposed to do there, right? That was just completely blindsided. Cure not realizing what is going on anymore. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. I can't believe I'm saying this, but he's on match point three wins in a row. The Blue Zerg, bottom right side, Alpha Axe, give it up for Ragnarok. My god, this man has had one hell of a run so far. Can he complete it with a 4-0 to zero here? 
against this opponent in the top left side. He is a beast of TVC, but it does not seem to be helping him out very much. He is Dragon Phoenix Gamer. Cure. All right. All right. What are we up to now, Ragnarok? We're just gonna we're just gonna keep our tabs open. We're gonna keep our eyeballs peeled. Let's see what he wants. Let's see what he wants to get. Sure, just made a bad build without scouting. I mean, it's a it's a pretty good build overall. The Liberator. Doesn't help out as much as the Banshee, to be fair, but... I mean, considering that he was consistently going up against Mutalisk... I mean, if this once again was what he thought it was, it, he was doing a good build, right? There was nothing wrong with what Cure was doing in that sense. It's just that it, was, it wasn't it was what Ragnarok was doing. It was something else entirely. Actually, I like the Liberator instead of the, uh, the Banshee play, because it, it you know... Cost less overall resources. You still one-shot things. And Liberator is able to get there a little bit quicker. As opposed to going in with uh, two Banshees at the same time. Let's see. Alright, first command center. That's the factory. Are we going to get the third command center here? When does Bomber play? It's whenever he wants to. Are we going to have it happen? Is it going to occur here? Will Cure go down 4-0 to zero after being able to get a... I mean, he just went up against Rogue, guys. Let's not forget about this. I still need to I still need to tell myself this. He just beat Rogue in a best of five straight up. And... I mean, here he is against Ragnarok. Ragnarok going for Ling Bane Mutalisk. A style that was slowly going out of uh, favor slightly for the Zergs. And he is, he's doing wonders with it. He is absolutely kicking some serious ass right now. Oh, queen on the low grounds. Oh, ho, ho, almost getting it. I think he maybe have, could have gotten it there with the Lynx. Uh, they, they moved backwards a little bit there for a second, right? Oh, well. My Reaper won't be bothering too much anymore anyway. So, what are we doing? Ragnarok going for the quick three bases this time around. Not going to go for the quick Mutalisk scale of two base. And we still have... All right, there's the Benchy opening once again. Cure adjusting, re recalibrating. It's like, all right, let me just play this uh, the safe way once again. Doesn't quite know about that third base yet, but he went in with the, the Reaper, right? He didn't quite see much of anything here. Uh, Rogue already played. <laughs> the winner of this place goes on himself. Wow. That's that's where the you know that's where the true spectator sport starts. Oh, interesting. <laughs> All right, more banshees armory here, also getting constructed. We may get a hellbat banshee push. And let's take a look for Ragnarok, right? Does he already have a Bailing Nest? Yes, he does. That's a good sign. He's got the two Evo Chambers on the way. Over here. Which is an interesting position overall. But, eh, I mean, it should be okay, right? Uh, 
You didn't know it was Kyo who knocked Ragnarok off the Super Tournament's qualifier? Really? Oh man, that is some good information actually, yeah. Coming back with a vengeance, it does seem that way, yeah. It's like, this is, this is my team's tournament. Oh, there's the Hellbats though. I mean, so far the Hellbat pushes have been working out okay for Kyo. Against Rogue, let's see how they will be able to do against Ragnarok. And Shikanatha, it didn't do much. <laughs> he killed the base and then he still lost it, if I'm not mistaken. He does get rid of all the banings, though. No more banings on their way. 26 circlings. This could be too much to handle right now. The Queen's trying their best. Great, great micro overall here from those Queens spreading out. Moving backwards. Couple of links here, trying to get on top of the Marines first and foremost. Not a bad shout. Probably the best way to try and deal with this. He's starting to deal with it slowly but surely. Another transfuse not going to land on top of that other queen. But not that much remaining here. 15 drones did get slain though during this uh, entire push. Is that enough? I think it may be. I think Kyo may have finally found himself quite a bit of success. You know, because he got on top of those banelings before they were done building. That is quite the horrendous way to lose this one of course gg is called three to one three to one all right all right yeah yeah making a comeback happen here perhaps that's quite the aggressive play to be fair i'm not sure what would have happened if those banelings were a little bit further backwards right if they were a little bit further backwards, he got the Banelings out. That could have been a whole different ball game right there. Not sure if that would have gone into the favor of our, uh, of our Terran any longer. At least it wasn't a sweep. That's right. That's right. We still get some more sweeping of creep, though, overall. So. Uh, are your diamond caves profitable these days? What's going on here, Xanon? Doing okay? Nasty. You're talking to Nasty? So you have diamond caves? I see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Almost dropped my water bottle. Um, You called the reverse sweep early? Alright, alright. I mean, it, I mean, right now, I'm fully on board on the Ragnarok train still. It could happen that it cuts to four, well, uh, three to three. But I believe, I believe in my boy. I believe in Ragnarok here. I mean, every single series so far, he managed to squeeze out. And he got it in the ace match. And that's that's just consistently what he's been doing so far. He just needs to do it one more time here. Or just win, right? Just straight up win here. It wouldn't be too bad either. Here we go. On match point in the bottom right side, the blue Zerg. Alpha Axis. Ragnarok. Top left side, there's a red Terran player fighting for the Dragon Phoenix Gamers. He is Cure. On his way for a comeback. Or did he just prevent the full sweep? The humiliation, that is a full sweep, of course. Alright, here we go. I mean, this is really one that is quite important, isn't it? As soon as Cure wins this one, that's when, as Ragnarok, you're going to start doubting yourself. You're going to be like, oh, whoa, uh, I only have two maps now in between us. Or one map, I mean. Only one point difference. And that's when it starts gnawing you on, on your internal brain mechanisms. This being the finals as well, of course, should be pretty darn big for him. There we go. Alright, regular stuff, guys. Regular stuff. Jump. Going for the scouts. <clears throat>
Bear o'clock? What? <laughs> Interesting. Ragnarok o'clock. I mean, it would make sense, right? If, if Ragnarok wins, then it should become a bear o'clock, pretty much, right? Third base here for Cure once again, relatively early. Ragnarok not going for the quick mutilisk once again as well. Important things to note here is you know, the previous time we had this going on, it did turn out to be in favor for Cure here. Ragnarok, he did have some special stuff planned overall for the initial part of the, uh, the game, but... Right now, it seems like he's just running on the, the regular, right? Just going with the standard stuff. You will drown your sorrow in beer tonight. All right. It's more so that he's, like, it's not, it's, Ragnarok is not, like, it's the event, right, of the, uh, the northern overall. It's a roach warren on the way, by the way, guys. Uh, the northern mythology. But yeah, if the Northern Mythology wins, it's going to be beer o'clock everywhere. Nice hit there. All right, all right. The janitor at work once again. Oh, wait a moment. There's not enough creep tumors for me to kill here. It goes around the other way. I mean, the roaches so far are quite, uh, quite well being hidden so far. Making 11 at the exact same time. Is he? Kind of. Sort of. Ah, close enough. Oh, Depro Fundus getting Master 2 on ladder. Well done, dude. Just a little in uh, intermission there. <laughs> Alright, continuing onwards. Here are the roaches. The roaches are moving forwards. Gotta be careful. Clumping up still can cause quite a bit of harm, of course, due to the AoE damage of those Hellions. Gotta be careful. There are the Ravagers. Is this going to be enough this time around? We have more overall Marines available. The Bunkers, though, have less time, it seems to be set up. Even though the Roaches got scattered earlier, this map just so incredibly small, of course. There we go, the first Bunker already struggling here with being constructed. The other one as well, in fact, going to get knocked out. And, oh, there come the Zerglings. The Zerglings getting on top of these units. The Roaches already everywhere as well. This is an absolute massacre. It looks like this is not going to be held at all. 19 workers already have gone down. The Zerglings entering the main. GG is called. Ragnarok wins 4-1. It's not a clean sweep, but that is pretty darn close.